<laughs> Hello, freak bitches. Just uh, the whole thing to me, when I'm looking at these protests, like what was going on yesterday, where people are just beating the shit out of each other in the streets. There's people with red hats. Mm -hmm. Like the red hats are the bad people. It's so strange. Like mm. it's so strange seeing people with these Make America Great Again hats yeah. fighting with people that are wearing masks and motorcycle helmets and there's sticks and people are throwing, you know, smoke bombs. I'm like, this is crazy. I, I really never thought we'd see such a clear right versus left civil war. In, in fact, like in these little battles, it's, right. it's, and it seems to be ramping up and becoming more and more common and, and, and becoming more and more violent. Yeah, it seems that it is, you know. But so what can we do? You know, we're not out on the streets protesting on one side or another. I mean, I, right. I, I ask, you know, and then basically I think for me— I continue doing what I'm doing because I think I think these plant medicines are the single most important catalyst for changing consciousness on a global level, and that's what has to happen. So I'm not saying I have nothing messianic about it. I, you know, I tell people I work for the plants, but I think it's valuable to bring people to that experience in a place that is safe. They don't have to worry about those issues. They can have this direct download with the Mysterium Tremendum, if you want to call it that, that can change hearts and minds. I think that globally, I think that ayahuasca is a catalyst for that. You know, why has it suddenly gone global in the last 20 years? I think, you know, I think that it's a sign that Gaia, if you believe in that concept, that the Earth itself is an intelligent entity, is getting a little bit hysterical and is trying to Get our attention, you know, wake up the monkeys, and this is the way it's, you know. So ayahuasca is an ambassador from the community of species to what I call the problematic primates, you know, this out-of-control species that uh, needs uh, a good talking to in a certain <laughs> sense. And say, wake up, you're wrecking this place, you know, and you don't have to. <laughs>